Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. A chainsaw's cutting chain is controlled by the engine crankshaft and a centrifugal clutch. When the throttle trigger is pressed to accelerate the engine, flyweights in the clutch extend outward, rotating a gear that drives the chain. The chain rides in a track on a bar and requires continual lubrication to operate properly. To accomplish this, a pump, activated by the rotating clutch, supplies a thick oil designed to stick to the bar and chain. Keeping the oiler hole clear of debris is vital for proper lubrication and to prevent damage to the bar, chain, or engine. If the cutting chain is too loose, the gear will not be engaged properly or the chain may become dislodged from the bar and cause injury. If the chain is too tight, the engine or clutch can become damaged. The chain tension can be adjusted, but be sure to follow manufacturer's recommendations for the proper setting. The teeth on the chain should face away from the engine on the top of the chain bar and towards the engine on the bottom. If the chainsaw is struggling to cut through wood, the chain likely needs to be sharpened or replaced. Otherwise, the engine could overheat. Cutting chains are often unique to each chainsaw and will vary depending on the model. You should enter the full model number of your chainsaw in our website search bar to find the specific chain you need. Before you replace the cutting chain, make sure the engine has cooled. If applicable, confirm the on-off switch is in the off position or the ignition coil wire has been detached from the spark plug. You should also disengage the chain brake. If applicable to your model, use an appropriate size wrench or socket to unthread the nuts to release the clutch cover. For some models, you will need to push in a bar tensioner knob, then rotate to remove the cover. Remove any chain guard if necessary. Then push the chain bar back to loosen the old cutting chain, if still intact, and remove the bar and chain. Install the new cutting chain by aligning it on the chain bar. Again, make sure the teeth on the chain are facing towards the front end of the chain bar on the top and away from the front end on the bottom. Loop the chain onto the clutch sprocket as you align the chain bar on the mounting bolts. Reposition the chain guard if necessary. To replace the clutch cover, the chain tensioner will need to be inserted into the hole in the chain bar. You may need to adjust the position of the tensioner pin to fully align the cover. With the cover in place, hand tighten the nuts. Or, if applicable, secure the cover loosely with the bar tensioner knob. Now lift the bar and rotate the adjustment screw or dial clockwise until there is no slack in the chain. Fully tighten the nuts or the tension on the bar and confirm that the chain is taut. Turn the on-off switch to the on position or reattach the ignition coil wire to the spark plug and your chainsaw should be ready for use.